5G was supposed to be the future, a game changer for how we connect with the world. They told us we'd be downloading movies in seconds, controlling robots across continents, and living in smart cities, where everything is seamlessly connected. But here we are, struggling to load a simple web page. What went wrong? I've spent a lot of time digging into the promises and realities of 5G, comparing the hype to what we're actually getting. After doing my research, it's clear that the gap between what we were sold and what we have is massive. Back in 2015, tech companies gathered to decide what 5G would look like. With 4G running smoothly and AI becoming a buzzword, they planned the next big thing in mobile connectivity. The vision they laid out was nothing short of futuristic. The first promise was simple, faster speeds. 5G was supposed to be blazing fast, up to 200 times faster than 4G. Using higher frequency radio waves, known as millimeter waves, 5G aimed to pack more energy into each signal. On paper, it was impressive. 4G maxed out at around 100 megabits per second, but 5G was supposed to hit 20 gigabits per second. That's like comparing a bicycle to a rocket. But those millimeter waves have a big weakness. They don't travel very far and can be blocked by walls, trees, and even rain. So, while the technology works great in a lab, the real world is a different story. It's like having the fastest sports car in the world, but only being able to drive it in your driveway. The promise of 5G super speed was always limited by how difficult it is to deploy in real-world environments. They can slap that 5G logo on your phone, but if you step inside, the signal can drop from lightning fast to snail paced in an instant. And that's the crux of the issue. These incredible speeds were possible, but only under perfect conditions that most of us will never experience. Most 5G connections today are far from the millimeter wave networks that were promised. Instead, they're just slightly improved versions of 4G, leaving many users wondering why they bothered to upgrade at all. Speed wasn't the only promise on the table. 5G was supposed to revolutionize how our devices connect, creating a world where everything from cars to refrigerators would communicate seamlessly. This wasn't just about faster internet on your phone. The vision for 5G was much bigger, turning cities into smart, interconnected ecosystems where every device plays a role. Picture this. A city where traffic lights adjust in real time to reduce congestion, where your fridge orders groceries before you even realize you're out of milk, and where your smartwatch tracks your health and communicates directly with your doctor. This was the world 5G was supposed to make possible. The second big promise of 5G was its capacity to handle far more devices simultaneously. Thanks to its higher frequency bandwidths, 5G was supposed to support up to 100 times more data traffic than 4G. The idea was to build an Internet of Things, or IoT, on a scale we've never seen before, where every electronic device could be connected at once, creating smart homes and smart cities. However, the reality is much less impressive. While 5G does have greater capacity on paper, the infrastructure required to support this vision is far from ready. Building a fully connected smart city isn't just about upgrading a few antennas. It's about laying miles of new fiber optic cables, installing thousands of transmitters, and ensuring that all these devices can communicate without interference. It's like planning a massive concert, but only setting up one small stage with a single microphone. The technology is there, but the setup is nowhere near complete. Moreover, the cost of building this infrastructure is enormous, and companies have been slow to invest in it beyond a few major cities. For most people, the dream of a fully connected world is still just that, a dream. Instead of a seamless network, we have a patchwork of unreliable connections and half-finished projects. Beyond just speed and connectivity, 5G also came with bold claims of eliminating delays entirely, bringing us the age of instant communication. Latency, the time it takes for data to travel, was supposed to be virtually eliminated with 5G, making everything from gaming to remote surgery feel instantaneous. Picture controlling a drone from the other side of the world with no lag, or doctors performing surgeries remotely as if they were right there in the operating room. This was the kind of real-time interaction 5G was supposed to make possible. The third major promise of 5G, you guessed, was ultra-low latency, which means reducing the time it takes for data to travel between devices to less than a millisecond. This kind of speed would open the door to new technologies that require split-second precision, such as autonomous vehicles that can react instantly to their surroundings, or immersive virtual reality experiences without the slightest delay. But, as with the other promises, reality hasn't caught up with the hype. 
Achieving such low latency requires an incredibly dense network of 5G towers and infrastructure, far more than what we currently have in place. Right now, most users are seeing only a slight improvement over 4G, with latency far from the nearly instant response times we were promised. The challenge lies in the millimeter waves that 5G relies on to achieve these speeds. While they can carry data at incredible speeds, their short range and inability to penetrate obstacles, like buildings, mean that consistent, low-latency connections are hard to come by. Without the widespread infrastructure needed to support these connections, the dream of real-time lag-free communication remains out of reach. 5G was supposed to revolutionize our world, but it's fallen short of its promises. The speeds, connectivity, and real-time capabilities we were promised haven't materialized for most users. Until the infrastructure catches up, here was John from Briefiology. And one thing is clear, the future might be bright, but it's not here yet.